welcome back to the Sacred Stones run of Red Team Route. We are on Chapter 19 today, and we're going to start not by deselecting Molder, but we are going to promote him, and we're going to go Bishop. Um, Molder not being a combat unit, I guess it really wouldn't matter for this playthrough, but Bishop gives him two points of magic, and we definitely want that here. Oh, I don't think I have any lightning tomes for him in the convoy, but yeah, we can now use light magic, but we're mostly concerned about um, more warp staff range. Let's just go ahead and grab a heal. Um, but now let's look at the map. So this is going to be the shortest map ever. So as you can see, I have my small team in the front here. Um, you can also put some people up here and take care of this side because this is a defense chapter. You want to defend him, Pontifex Manzel, Rachel's uncle, I believe. And he does have this general next to him who's pretty competent. But what's not competent are these guys, the Rostin Knights. And they may be, um, they might be the worst green units in the series, honestly. They just get critted. The enemies prioritize them. I think there's some dark mages right here that will go for these two. And then these guys just get critted by some enemies up here. Um, yeah, not that great. But what we are going to do is try to low turn count this. Basically like two turns here. Um, the chests, I think there's a speed wing here, but we're not going to get them. So yeah, we basically want to move our team around right here, and then warp and torch staff down around here, or here. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and save the game. Last hope. And we'll begin. Hehehe. <laughs> heh. Evil. Sorcerer type. Okay, so what I'm going to do is have E from murder you. Still using the Reagan life. And you are pathetic because you are an unpromoted enemy in chapter 19. And we get a level up. And then, yeah. So I think I'm going to... Now I should equip the javelin in case the... Um, Dark Mage decides to go for Tana, but they do really like to go for those Armor Knights up above us. So we'll just have our Killer Lance here. And I don't want to activate the glitch, although um, it wouldn't be that much of a hassle resetting on this chapter. Now as for everyone else, let's see, Archer brought the Torch Staff, let's just go right about here. And yeah, I think one of these guys has a Brave Lance. I might want to get that. I'll just move everyone forward now. Hmm. Where can Chetty's get you? Because I do want Archer to be... Or not Archer, Mulder. I'm gonna get them confused every time now. Let's just dance for you here. Alright, you can... I'll put you up here. Um, Ewan, of course, doing his thing. Well, they may prioritize the Phantom now that I think about it. Not really sure. Yeah, and there's some enemies over there up top. I think they spawn from the... Okay, you're going for him. I think they spawn from the northeast corner, and you're gonna go for Tana. Interesting. That's not the Brave Lance one, though. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> one shotted. One shotted. Not too bad, right? We we only lost two. Uh oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, he's just gonna go in there too. He didn't watch his friend get slaughtered. I'm just gonna walk up to him. Oh, and he got critted too! Really good. Okay, what are you going for? <laughs> That's what, five? He lived! What a good unit. Okay, we are a little bit cluttered up here. 
Okay, so you are Mr. Brave Lance. I definitely want to kill you, so I think I'm gonna have Uin. Perfect. I do want to get this before we leave the chapter. And I didn't mention this last time, but I did equip what's called the Hoplin Guard on Ephraim. That is an item we got from Kalok back in chapter 15, the desert, the guy in the top corner. That item will negate all enemy crits, and it's actually very useful for the boss we're about to fight. Um, you can't use that. Now, let's grab Archer. Torch up as far down as we can. Because we do have to see the enemy. That armor knight did cheat a little bit. I wonder if we can still get the best prize for this. Now then, Mulder. Warp you. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not going to be destroyed. Well, at least not by you right now, because Ephraim's going to kill you. Although, Reeve does not die off in this chapter. <laughs> no. He will come back for the next one, although we may be skipping over him in that one. And we get the Orotome. And with that, chapter 19 is complete in two turns. Not like this is a low turn count run, but I will see you for the next one.